Don't give up on me yet, Kara. I think I'm getting close. Uh, Bren, this stew tastes like it was steeped in rusty nuts. Maybe we should just stick to eating the paste. It's not so bad eating the same soft, bland mush every meal, forever. Come in search of a hot meal? Hard to come by here, I know. But mark my words, one day there'll be more than just the aroma of bubbling brass wafting out of slag town. People are going to come from far and wide to try what's making it. Or a mud mixer. Might as well be the same thing most days. Getting ingredients that pass for edible is a challenge in slag town. Solus Ramathron's got real mushrooms he's been dangling in front of me, but he won't sell to the likes of us. Really? Well, if you got me some fresh ones from the halls of regulation, that'd be a start. But they aren't much good like that. Solace has some trick to making them edible he keeps closely guarded. Maybe you could pilfer his secret recipe for me? Mind yourself around Solace. He's a mean one with friends in high places. Helps him keep his monopoly on the mushroom trade. It won't take kindly to anyone poking around. Oh, he's the type to keep records on anything he considers worth remembering, especially if it can make him a profit. I'm sure he's got his notes tucked away in his office, maybe even under lock and key. Uh, be best not to mention us, then. It wouldn't help your case being associated with slag towners. I'd hate to see you get in trouble on our account, but we're just scraping by, you understand? Oh, I reckon anything that can grow here is special, but from what I gather, they got real flavor. Might even be strong enough to take the edge off fabricant meat. I've tried, but no amount of boiling, chopping, or mashing did the trick. Those mushrooms are tougher than shoe leather and full of spores anyway you dice them. Besides, they're hard enough to come by without me wasting them on trial and error. Can't really say that any of the Tinkerer's creations were designed with edibility in mind, but there's only so much of that mushy food paste a person can eat in one lifetime. I was raised on this stuff and I can barely stand it. Doesn't make me much of a wood elf, does it? All my parents used to talk about over dinner was the wild game from home. Everyone from outside gets the same look in their eye when talking about their favorite meal. It's why I took up cooking. Don't I know it. But if I can make the days a little easier for even one person, it'll be worth it. And if I only wind up making something so bad the paste is good by comparison, <laughs> well, that's a victory in a way, right?
not looking, is he? It's all right. Let it all out. I tried. I tried. No. Hello again, friend. Don't mind the smell, just baking up a sort of clay souffle. I, uh, are really scraping the bottom of the ingredient barrel right now. Any luck with those mushrooms? That's great. Let's have a look, eh? Oh, that slimy son of a script. He's been lying through his teeth. I could have been growing these mushrooms the whole time. Still, his pickling recipe is just what I needed to make use of them. Great work. I hate the way people look down on slag towners. Maybe it's not enough that I help feed these people something worth eating. We're always going to be struggling until the snooty folks on high see we have something to contribute. Produce something that doesn't just help us get by, but makes people up top take notice. I'd love to take something from my homeland and give it its own slag town flair. We had some root liqueur that would have been perfect, but uh, we drank all we had. No. I can't imagine how odd something like that is to come by in Clockwork City. Maurice never did say how he came by a case of it, but I'm not one to pry. Couldn't hurt to do some asking around though, right? I really appreciate you volunteering for all this. Not many in Clockwork City who'd stop to spit on us down here, let alone do us a kindness. Oh yes, uncommon stuff. Created by Bosma ages ago in secret using Elden Root clippings. Blasphemous against the green pack, they say. Me? I don't think I've ever even seen the color green. Never had the stuff before I stumbled on Maurice's stash. Well, it's pretty sweet, you see, and almost syrupy as it is. Reckon it'd make a great base for marinade. Much better than boiler coolant, that much I'm certain. Another slag like me. I'm sure you've seen him around and never noticed him. That's just how it goes for us. He's an ambitious sort, always hoping to find a way out of his position down here. I cheer him up whenever his plans fall through. That case he had stashed was a once-in-a-lifetime find, he said. He was gonna sell it to a buyer and leave this all behind, but the deal fell through. So we wound up drinking the whole thing as a pick-me-up. Foolish. Fun, but foolish. When you put it like that, it does seem like a lot to take on. But hey, I don't think they could think any less of us as it is, so no harm in trying. Hey, Brent, maybe send your friend to the guild traders. They traffic in all sorts. Not a bad idea. They wouldn't give us the time of day, but I think This way. I overheard you talking to Bren about the root liquor, and I had to intervene before you took off on some wild guar chase. Oh, I know you won't. That rare stock was a batch of counterfeit hooch I was trying to pass off on a wealthy mark, but she caught wise. When Bren got into it, I didn't have the heart to tell him it wasn't the real thing. I only made one batch. Suppose I could, but I based it off stuff that isn't easily come by. A part of the mix is Wellspring Hooch, and I have on good authority that some students of the catalog of rote duplication keep a stash. Off limits, but that's not the hard part. Well, the other main ingredient can't be found in Clockwork City. Stuff was stolen from the private reserve of some silk shirt in Port Hunding. Even if you could get out of this ticking prison, you'd have to smuggle a crate of the stuff back here. I'll believe you when I see it. If you do pull it off, meet me in Slagtown.
you uh, find the little thing we talked about? Phew, you really are something. How'd you wind up in a dump like this? Give me a minute to cut this. The little uh, boiler coolant gives it some bite. And there. Genuine Elden Root Liquor. Promise you'll keep this between us. I like Bren too much to break his heart. He tries so hard to keep us in good spirits. I'll get out of here before you give it to him. Hello again, friend. Interest you in a rust crumble cake? It's not so bad once you get past the taste. Texture's nice. This is incredible. Wh where did you find it? I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Promise I'll stretch this bottle long as it'll last, now that I know better. Now that I got the base for a marinade, it'd be nice to have something to use it on. I'm afraid I used the last of the meat in our larder on that misbegotten stew. Well, that'd be great, but it'll be dangerous. Fabricated critters out in the wild are just as mean as the real thing. Real tender around the flanks, though. Maybe because the machine bits are doing all the work. About a dozen ought to last us a while. One more thing, a special request. Tuba B loved Nick Sound meat before she wound up here. Brethe Rudarum raises the best you can find, but I can't afford his prices. I'd really like to impress her, and I know where he keeps his stash. You really are the best. Bretheru keeps his fresh meat in an airtight trunk at his stables until he's ready to either cook it or preserve it. If he just nick a little, he does well for himself, probably won't even miss it. Oh, well, I mean, you could, sure. It's just, I could never pay you back for something like that. Just one cut costs more than I'll even have in my life down here. Everybody down here is special to me. We're all we've got. But I do guess I got a soft spot for her. She's never once complained about my cooking. Even when I know it's eye-wateringly bad, it's always thank you and a scratch behind the ears. <laughs> Only that they're probably more dangerous than your average beastie, but I'd be pretty fearless about what I'd try to take a bite out of if I had metal teeth too. Be careful. I'd feel terrible if you got hurt on account of me. How dare you, Kermit? Your mother wanted a better future for you. Because a factotum with delusions of grandeur... These Nixhounds may be part machine, but they're all animal at heart. I care for them the best I can and love them while they're living, but even I have to put food on the table. If I do, it's mostly a coincidence. They're hand-raised, mostly just for my own needs, but I'll sell off some surplus now and again. Takes a lot of effort, so I don't part with it cheap. I can fetch some from my larder, if it's worth it to you. You'll never find meat more mercifully raised, I'll promise you that. I might put this toward new bedding for Twitchy and Hopper. Take care now.
was hoping to see you again. I was just popping up for some fresh-ish air, and what do I find but the tangy smell of fresh meat? Looks like you've had some luck at the butchers. Perfect. I can take that off your hands now. Gonna need to give it a good soak in that marinade before I can get dinner started. Come by later and I'll have something to thank you for all this good effort. I insist. Friends, the guest of honor has arrived. I've cooked up something special for you all. Soon to be favorites, I'm sure. For you, Kara, a mushroom-filtered meat stew. No more of that overwhelming metallic tang, I promise. And for you, Maurice, root liqueur marinated fabric chop neatly braised. Soon to put Slagtown on the culinary map. And finally, tuba bee, the crown jewel of my feast and fed Nick's fillets in a mushroom and root liqueur reduction. Oh, you shouldn't have. And for my newest friend, I have a special treat. I never would have been able to concoct any of these wonderful dishes without you. And you've clearly got an appreciation for food. So, I've conjured up a unique recipe to help you through your time in Clockwork City. I hope you enjoy it. Nothing too difficult, I promise. Most of the ingredients should be readily available in Clockwork City, so you shouldn't have to jump through any more hoops for a decent meal. All right. Here goes. Hmm. Might need a little nip of that liquor after this. Mmm, mm -mm. delicious. Hey, Bren, <laughs> this is good. Yeah, you did it. Oh, my. There is a hint of home in this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>